Welcome everybody to another Group C play. This one is going to feature Caboose as the Zerg and Viking again as Terran. So Viking swapping places with Caboose in terms of spawn positions in the other games that we saw. Um, and Lufu, Lufu, welcoming everybody to the Flatline.net tourney. All right. Uh, welcome everyone to the cast of the Flatline.net Tourney Group C Game 3. Caboose, of course, being a random player as far as I know, uh, gonna be choosing Zerg 9 pooling, it looks like. Or, I mean, sorry, 9 Overlord. Very smart play, I like it. Uh, Viking gonna move out and build a supply depot at his choke. Again, very smart play. You don't want to lose to a speedling run by. Um, oops. That's exactly what Viking lost to, but it looks like he's going to be doing the same build. Uh, probably going to see an early Reaper from a Tech Lab, um, Tech Lab to Barracks. I'm not sure if that will complete a wall off uh, here with the Tech Lab. Never, I've never really thought about it too much. Uh, but the Overlord going to be moving out to spot the rocks, maybe, but just barely. It's hard to, to tell if if anything's going to be hitting this, but. As Zerg, you don't need to worry as much as the other races. So, it looks like we do have a 14 pull uh, going down for Caboose. One drone moving out all the way across the map as Viking does set up a wall. Now, this won't be tight. He's going to have to put another building maybe here to wall it off. Either another barracks or a supply depot. Still very susceptible, and there he goes, <laughs> uh, to a Baneling bust as supply depots are very close and clustered together. But Caboose going to be moving up and moving in, maybe doing a little SCV harassment on the building SCVs, but uh, Viking quick to select this drone and make sure that it has no ill will towards him. It's going to move out and see if it can get a couple free shots either on the barracks or the SCV, but with one done, a Caboose going to be moving around, maybe try to block the tech lab, but unfortunately it does not. And it's still not a tight wall. Wow. So, um, any type of speedlings looks like also um, he went 14 hatch, or 14 pool, 15 hatch, or something like that. But we do have six zerglings on the way, and we might be on for another game where uh, Viking will be in trouble from early zerglings. Um, this drone going to be doing its best to annoy Viking, make him pull another SCV off the mineral line. And Viking forgetting about it. Don't lose it. No, no. Viking, you lost it, but you do kill kill the drone in revenge. Unfortunately, you do have six zerglings on the way, and this is still not tight. Getting that a marauder, ugh, not good against zerglings at all, especially without the concussive shell, which is on the way. But it's a tough nut to swallow. If you get caught out of position with these zerglings just streaming into your base, um, you're going to have to pull SCVs to do it. It looks like it might be tight. No, it's not. And the SCV... Why did he not... Well, looks like uh, Viking lucked out, as I'm pretty sure that's not a tight wall. Um, but then again, I could be wrong about that. Um, looks like he does have one zergling on the back door. Viking, remember this, remembering this from the game against Bane, uh, will try and kill off any type of Zerglings. He does have, uh, Caboose does, the Watchtowers, which is very, very nice. This poor Zergling going to be regening health quite slowly as Caboose gets his natural up and running. We do see a Roach Warren on the, in play for Caboose, getting double gas here. Um, has a Roach Warren, but no gas, and not the brightest of moves. Um, as you're not able to produce and susceptible to a scan as Viking does have that uh, that orbital. Just a bunker as a placeholder here for Viking. Uh, straight Marauders, it looks like uh, he knows that his opponent will go Roach eventually and this drone gonna be moving out layer on the way and 600 minerals for Caboose. Looks like he could use a vomit or two as well as a couple overlords. We do see seven drones being made right now, as well as a spine crawler. We should be seeing an overlord with this larva, please. Um, uh, for Viking, we just have mass marauder coming out, which will be great against the roaches. 
uh, but unfortunately right now it's not so great against what's on the field. One SCV here in the gas. Um, Overlord's moving out maybe to do a surround on his base and his lack of anti-air, who knows. The Zergling spotting the natural just to see exactly what's going on. The Supply Depot able to spot down the, the cliff to see if any Zerglings are attacking the rocks. And Mules coming down for Viking. Unfortunately, no SCVs in production. And the Harvester count is squarely in Caboose's favor. We do have one Roach on the field as well as one in production. This Queen Fallow gun a little bit, wait a little bit. We do have a Hydroden coming down for Caboose. Very nice counter to Marauders. Although I would absolutely love, love, love to see Mutas because unfortunately Vikings, or unfortunately Vikings in trouble if he has Mutas because number one, he has no anti-air and Marauders can't shoot up apparently. They can do everything else in the game, slow down any type of unit except for an Ultra, but they cannot for the life of them handle um, Mutas. So. A roach on the field will die very quickly to combined shots from these here marauders. This spine crawler that's up and the spine crawler that's nearly up. Oh, look at that. He got one shot off. And now, oh, bad positioning for Viking, but he is able to kill another roach. Allowing time for this spine crawler to get up, as well as a roach just absolutely dying. The spine crawler going down very quickly, as well as both roaches getting slowed and chewed up. Now we do have another spine crawler going down, this marauder taking a fair amount of damage with transfusion going down. More roaches on the field, and this one is nearly dead as focus fire. We should be seeing some reinforcements stream in for Viking, unfortunately we don't. He's just trying to micro around here, maybe going to come and take off the rocks. Unfortunately, Caboose could be expecting this as he can kind of see the concussive shells killing everything. He does have a ton of roaches, or hydras in production, which will absolutely eat up marauders. Um, but, unfortunately, without the upgrade, the Marauders can sort of kite um, uh, the Hydras off of Creep. But it looks like those Marauders were forgot about as Viking has a couple Marines to deal with these Overlords. And he's getting a Siege Tank, which does very, very well against Hydras, especially Siege. But he's going to be moving out. Unfortunately, he sees that the Marauders are here. A spine crawlers in Caboose's base will able will be able to stop a lot of the aggression. Unfortunately, getting off a of creep is a bad idea if you are in Hydra. Uh, the reinforcements able to to prevent any more extractors from going down. Um, this Hydra may be get may be getting picked off, but roaches in the front, uh, ridiculously slow without the speed upgrade. And what is this? We do have um, two Hydra dens going down. For Caboose, you know, in a game that I played that will be up soon, I did manage to almost make two spawning pools, so I'm in the same boat. It, it just happens. This drone actually getting a shot off on the uh, Marauder here. And we'll see exactly a loaded SCV in a command center. Do we have a siege tank siege mode? Oh, siege, 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 siege. You will win if you siege. You will win if you siege. But instead the Hydra is going to come down to focus down the command center, moving up. Now siege mode, able to blow up roaches and absolutely demolish a lot of the uh, Hydra's hit points. Now he's going to be moving out with more marauders and, and tanks. Hopefully he remembers to continue to make units. He needs more harvesters as he gets more mules down, more money that he could have spent elsewhere. Hydra's on the field, more zerglings and Hydra's, no speed for them, but um, very potent com combination against this heavily, heavily anti-armored uh, group. As long as the tank shoots the speedlings, I believe that Caboose is in a great position, especially if he goes through the back door, as Viking's entire force is protecting the natural, which is protecting um, the SCV in the command center, of course. These overlords still just having full view of these uh, barracks, one getting a reactor, another barracks being made right now. Factory's still there, not doing much. More mules, a lot of mules. You, you don't want a mule on your main, you, you want a mule in fact on your natural because it, the natural is a little bit harder to defend but we do see one shot going off looks like Caboose is barely getting range he looks like he's thought better of it and one more Hydra gonna go down uh, if I was Viking I would feel a little bit more comfortable moving out but we do see four roaches in production and that is not what the doctor ordered even though um, his opponent Viking is getting more Marines um, roaches do well against Marines they suck against Marauders and they absolutely 
will not dent a tank unless they get within the siege range. We do have Burrow and Gilio Reconstitution, um, which is the Roach Speed. We do have Tunneling Claws uh, up next. No upgrades from these Evo Chambers, uh, but we do have a ton happening uh, now for, for Viking. A Starport for Marines, Stim, and Combat Shield, as well as a Reactor. So it looks like he's going to transition to a more Mass Marine type of build as well as three supply depots, doesn't want to get supply blocked anytime soon. He is sending some Kabooza is sending some roaches up here to deal with the rocks, seeing as though there's no tanks or anything up here. They're gonna bust it down. Will Viking respond to this in time? It looks like he's leaving his main force sieged up here. Rocks are nearly down. This certainly beats just a couple Zerglings uh, beating on it as it goes down very quickly to Hydras, uh, because Hydras attack extraordinarily fast and have a fair amount of damage. Uh, looks like Caboose forgot about this and hasn't been expanding like Zerg should. He's sending out a drone here, perhaps to make a hatchery here, um, but it's not quite there yet. He is moving into the main as his drone gets into position. And he's going to be moving all the way in, forcing Vikings to pull his SCVs, sieging up. Uh, unfortunately, the position is not all that well um, as Caboose is able to uh, engage on his terms in in Viking space. Little does he know um, that Viking is keeping most of his force down here. So this could spell trouble for Caboose, even even though he has a very nice army um, and Viking is sorely out of position. As soon as he gets in range of the tanks, it'll do much well. No, don't engage with one siege tank. That's gonna die. Yep. Oh, so close. 60. Oh my goodness, a Hydra with six kills. Viking taking a few Marines to, to move. He should be moving out with these forces as only... Sp <laughs> look at this, a wall of creep tumors. Uh, Kubus was getting a little bit high in energy, I guess. And look at this creep spread with three creep, creep tumors at once. Hydras, look at that, running, sprinting, and then running back. We do have a ton of roaches which can burrow move, as you see here. And, ooh, this could be bad for Viking. Oh, could be bad for Viking as he's going to seize the tank. Oh, tank getting focused. Oh, no scan going down. He's going to take out the Hydras at least, uh, which is a very, very big point. And now he's going to start attacking the Roaches. Unfortunately, this, the scan was a little bit off target. But that's okay. He's moving in. He's moving in for the kill. And the Queen will go down. Roaches will go down. Uh, unfortunately, there's no medevacs in this ball. Eleven roaches coming up. Only five marines in a siege tank. Uh, Overstimming a little bit. Able to take out a bunch of the spine crawlers. And l lucky uh, Caboose, he has the two hydrogens just in case. But the marines are going to fall quickly, quickly, quickly to the roaches. And if I was uh, Caboose, I would definitely focus the marauder first. But um, bunker still out. A bunch of marines are standing around. Rebuilding those supply depots right in the same spot. Very mineral heavy, but not a lot of gas. Looks like losing that refinery did a lot more damage, as he hasn't been getting refineries at his natural. Uh, this drone, maybe it was just a scout to see if he had gold, and he's going to be placing a, uh, an expansion up there. And poor creep tumors, moving out the wrong time, all die. Um, <clears throat> it looks like we have Viking protecting his back door and building a, a turret a little bit late as he's just gonna his opponent's just gonna burrow move right in and there's not a lot you can do as you see viking can just barely see some movement under there um, actually that's pretty apparent but the turret does finish and it's able to do just a little bit of damage until it gets out of range in which case oh, now scan going down forcing the roaches above ground, but still, as soon as that scan wears off, a uh, viking will be in the dark. And... Viking GG's and gets out. He had a fair chance to do a lot of damage this game. Those early marauders countered the roaches perfectly. Unfortunately, uh, no stream of reinforcements was able to help him out. So, viking falls to caboose, and I believe that is it for group C. We're going to move on to Group G after this, and I am in Group G, so look forward to <laughs> some horrendous mistakes by yours truly. Until then, take it easy. I'll see you in the next um, group play.